Hey everyone, so today we are here at Boardwalk where we are staying in an adorable garden suite. So for those who have been keeping up with our videos, we did actually stay in one earlier this year. However, today we're staying in one with a different floor plan. Yeah, so there's a couple different layouts here of these garden suites and we'll show them all to you. If you want to see the first video, you can find the link to that down in the description. But otherwise, we're going to walk you through the kind of alternate one here. There's only a few of these rooms that have this alternate floor plan, but we're really excited to stay in it. Yeah, and see what the difference is. Yeah. So all of the garden suites are located here in this little garden area, which is just off from the main building. And they are here on our left, all the way down the length of the building. They're also called little garden cottages. Sometimes they have different little names, but it's officially garden suites. And each of them has this fencing around the front and a little garden area. As you can see, they're all unique. All of them have their own little style garden. And of course they each have trellis above the gate there with a little hidden Mickey in it. See if we can show you that. A little hidden Mickey there in the gate. And then some of the gates have flowers on them. Some have birds on them. I'm assuming they're doves based on the whole little lovebird vibe they've got going on. And we did stay in one of these. These rooms are lofted. So it's a really interesting layout. As you can see, there's two stories. There's the windows up there where you have like the lofted area and the bedroom and master up there. And then the downstairs is like a living room area. However, these three cottages right here, these are going to be a little bit different because they are, as you can see, underneath this kind of pillared area. That floor up top there is actually the club lounge here at Boardwalk. And all of these rooms do have club access. Now these rooms don't have a gated garden area, as you can see, what they do have though, is a balcony upstairs. So we got lucky this time and wound up in one of these rooms. So we're gonna head inside and show you the layout that's a little bit different than the other ones here and also the balcony that we get with it. So as you can see downstairs here, we do have the living room area just like the other layout here in the garden suites. However, it is not a lofted second floor. It is closed off completely. As you can see, there are stairs there, but there's no door, but it is not lofted. So this bedroom area upstairs is kind of separated a little bit more than the other layout. On our right, we have a couple chairs and a table there next to our lamp and couch. Now this couch is a pullout queen bed couch. However, you can only book this room for up to two adults. So even though they do have the extra bed down here, it is only bookable for up to two adults at this time. Above the couch, we've got a wonderful piece of art here that is the carousel from the Magic Kingdom and the castle in the background there, set in a little bit of a different time period. Obviously, no one ever dressed like that going to Magic Kingdom. We didn't have dirt roads out in the park, but kind of an idea of what that may have looked like if Magic Kingdom were built much sooner. Over here on this side, we also have another little end table there, our phone and lamp. We don't have a full kitchen in this room, but we do have a small kitchenette. We've got a mini fridge here. We also have a microwave and of course a Keurig and K-cups and all those good things. And then inside the drawer, they do also provide us with a few things like a can opener and a bottle opener and a corkscrew there. And then we have a small sink as well. And then over on the other side of the living room area, we have our TV and the TV has a dresser below it that has several drawers and cabinets on it, as well as having some of those USB and wall outlets built into it. So several places to plug up your devices there. And then next to that, we have our desk and the desk has additional outlets built into it. It also has our lamp that we love so much because it reminds us of the Minnie Mouse statue on the Fantasy on Disney Cruise Line, but the lamp there. And then a couple hidden Mickeys to point out on either of the legs of the table. They've got some little Mickeys carved in there. And then they also have Mickey and Minnie on this old school car hanging out at the boardwalk here, right there on the back of the chair. So several little nods to Mickey there on the desk. And then before we head upstairs, we're going to show you this picture over here that is a photo of the boardwalk, or at least what the boardwalk could have been had it been uh, built several years before. We've got a little not-so-hidden Mickey in that balloon up there. 
And then there's a few other little nods to the boardwalk. No other hidden Mickeys that we could find, but you've got the boardwalk on the little bike there and you've got the flag that has the boardwalk logo on it. So lots of cute little things in that picture. Now downstairs, we do have a bathroom, but it is only a half bath. So we'll head in here and show you. We've got our very large half bath down here. We have a toilet on that side and then a very large vanity on this side, just a single vanity but you do have a shelf down underneath as well as the large countertop there. So good place for one person to be getting ready while the other is upstairs in the master bath. And I gotta point this out too, because here at Boardwalk, they have started getting fancier. Look at this. They've stamped the logo on the toilet paper. They are stepping it up a notch here in the club level rooms at Boardwalk. Check out the stamped toilet paper, that's crazy. Now there's a closet here as well, and in here you're gonna find your extra pillows and blankets, iron and ironing board, and a few hangers there, as well as a luggage rack. And then of course we have a closet upstairs in the bedroom as well. So let's head upstairs and check this out. A Little bit different with it not being lofted. The stairs go straight up instead of wrapping around, but all the way up the stairs we do have these random pictures of flowers, just like the other Garden suites do. I guess they're really heavy on the garden side of that. Now there's a closet here for the master and inside this closet, you'll find your robes and slippers. Got slippers and robes here because it is a club level room. And when you're club level, you fancy, so you get fancy robes and slippers. And there's also a little safe back in there as well in that closet. Now, our master is kind of just an open doorway here, no door to close off the bathroom upstairs. And in our master bathroom, we've got a very large soaking tub. Now, I don't think, I don't see any jets, so it doesn't look like it's a jetted tub, just a soaking tub in there. And then we have a double vanity here, same type of vanity as the one downstairs, except for it has two sinks in it. And then you've got lots of little amenities because this is a club level room. They tend to give you a little bit more like the dental kit there. And then the giant mirror there with lighting up above it and a full length mirror on the door. And this door leads us to the other part of our bathroom here that has the toilet. Once again, with that fancy boardwalk logo stamped on the toilet paper. And we also have a walk-in shower, a very large walk-in shower actually. So walk-in shower here as you can see really good size it does just have the one shower head on the wall there no detachable shower heads or anything but a uh, nice size walk-in shower there and over in the bedroom half of things we've got a king size bed here of course it is the same as the beds in the rest of the boardwalk rooms as far as the headboard and everything goes but you've got the king size bed there. On either side, you do have a nightstand. And on this side, they've added a little USB hub for you so you can charge your devices. Obviously, they don't have a way to put the, uh, the plugs built into that marble top there. So they've got those. And then on the other side of the room, we have another one of those dressers, just like downstairs and the TV up above it. More USB outlets over here. And of course, storage space in the dresser there. Now we'll head out and show you the balcony. This is the unique part of this floor plan because the others just have the gardens and no balcony. And the curtains separating us out from the balcony here looks like it is the boardwalk. We've got some drawings of kind of the inspiration of what the boardwalk should look like if it were set in the time period. They kind of made everything. And heading out here, we've got a good size balcony, a lot bigger than most balconies you get with the regular rooms here at Boardwalk. You can see we've got a couple chairs and a table there. And this area right here is totally enclosed. So if there is rain or anything, you can still sit out here, which is nice. And then you come out towards the railing. You can see it has rain, so it's a little bit wet out here, but you've got a nice little view of the garden pool over there and just kind of the garden area, nice and peaceful and quiet out here. And there is technically a balcony up over your head here because you've got this room balconies up there as well as the club balcony, but if it rains, you do tend to get a little bit wet. So nice to have this alternate layout with the balcony here instead of having the garden. 
Now we'll head back downstairs really quickly and show you what it's like with that bed pulled out and how much space that takes up. As you can see, it is a queen size bed there that pulls out and kind of folds on top of the couch there, a little bit odd. But again, you can only book two adults in this room, even though there is the pullout bed that would let you sleep more technically. So that's going to conclude our tour here of this alternate floor plan in the garden suites at Boardwalk Inn. We hope you enjoyed that room tour. If you did, please give us a thumbs up below and comment with any questions you have. We're happy to answer those. And of course, subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot more videos on here, including a tour of the other type of room here at the cottages, which we will link below for you guys. Now, if you'd like to find out more information about Walt Disney World in general, or especially Walt Disney World resorts, make sure you head over to our website, herewiththeears.com. There'll also be a link to that down in the description below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. We're here with the ears.